In this video series, we're going to talk about 24 different situations on a table that require 24 different shots. And today, we're talking about this situation. Today, we're just going to play one single shot in an 8-ball situation. We are on the 8-ball and the problem is um, that the one ball is blocking the direct path into the corner pocket. As you can see, the tangent line of the 8-ball goes towards here. But nevertheless, we're trying to make the 8-ball into this pocket here. So, how can we accomplish to do this? This has a lot to do with where exactly you're hitting the 8-ball and a bit with if you're hitting high or low on the cue ball. As you know, spin is transferred. This means if I'm hitting low on the cue ball, the object ball that I'm playing is uh, going to get follow because of that gear effect. So a spin transfers and changes in the opposite direction. And of course, where we are exactly uh, hitting the eight ball. So if you want to make the eight ball into here, of course, we're not aiming to the left part of the eight ball because then the eight ball travels towards here. So we need to aim to the right part of the eight ball. But what is really important is uh, to what part you're aiming on the eight ball. If you're aiming really thin on the eight ball, I'm going to show you this. So I'm cutting the eight ball a bit. The eight ball should come a bit too short towards this rail here. And as you can see, that way we have no chance to make the eight ball. So let's set everything up again and show you what we have to change in order to make the eight ball. Very important, the balls have to be frozen. All right, cue ball was on this position, so we aimed a bit too thin on the eight ball. This means if we're hitting a bit thicker, the eight ball won't go that much into this direction, but a bit more towards here. So now I'm aiming uh, really thick on the eight ball, but still I'm cutting it a bit on the right. I don't want to hit full into the face. So we're aiming a bit thicker now, playing the shot. And as you can see, now the eight ball goes towards the short rail. So let's set everything up again. And now we have to find the sweet spot in between. Okay, make sure they are frozen again. Cue wall is here. So now we know, okay, if we're aiming thick on the eight ball, the eight ball has a tendency to go towards here. If we're aiming too thin, the eight ball has a tendency to go towards here. And this makes total sense because if you're hitting thin, um, there isn't a lot of force transferred to the eight ball. It hits the one ball and goes towards here. If you're hitting thicker with that low on the cue ball, the eight ball goes towards here. So now I'm trying to find the sweet spot. Aim to the right part. Yeah, I think my shaft, the right part of my shaft goes to the outer side, to the right part of the eight ball here. And now you can see we were able to make the eight balls. So if you're in a situation like that, where balls are frozen, not only here, for example, there's also a very famous shot where the balls are like this. Then you can use this principle where you're hitting low, of course, on the cue ball and hitting the right part of the eight ball to make the shot. Today's bonus shot maybe isn't as impressive as the other ones, but it's from a real match situation. So I had just one try to get from the one to the two. Okay guys, I really like today's shot, but to be honest, it doesn't come up very often in matches. But believe me, the time will come when you're facing this situation or a similar situation and then you know what to do because you watched a Sharivari video. Alright, this is the situation of tomorrow's episode where we have to get from the free ball all the way down table towards the four ball, which is on the other side of the table. The huge problem is that we don't have enough angle on the free ball, so this is going to be really interesting. Alright, if you like this video, then please consider, as always, to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, like and share it with your friends. A huge thank you to my sponsors, 
to my patrons, to everyone who's supporting me, and also to the people who always like my videos and comment on my videos because this really helps the channel growing and costs nothing. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching guys. And as always, see you at the next lesson. Take care.